Who just, am I? Yeah, just name. My name is Patrick Ginter. I'm a painter from originally from Minnesota. And uh, I've been painting since I was, I don't know, all my life, pretty much. That's great. I started drawing when I was three, probably two, three years old. Started painting probably well, maybe when I was in high school. I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm looking to make money on art. Maybe you can help me. You know, I need uh, more exposure. And I wasn't trying to get mad at you there or anything. Yeah, dude, you're good. I, I mean, I, I understand. My da- like I said, my dad's a painter, so I'm trying to figure out how to... Well, how it's to... a lost art. I mean, it's lost. It's lost in the... It's unfortunately... Uh, and the people now that call themselves artists that are trying to you know, paint, a lot of them are just doing digital art and it's just a bunch of bullshit, you know. Mm. Just a bunch of computerized, you know, images and stuff like that, so. Mm. So it's, it makes it very even harder, you know, because people are like, because I'm an expressionist painter, so I, I kind of dabble in a lot of paint. I, I kind of make it, I just keep changing it till I like it, you know, which kind of makes it more... Uh, a little bit more abstract and, and different looking, you know, so. But I saw a painting I did a little brown here last week, a quick one. Oh, yeah. But I only got 300 bucks for it, which is not enough to pay the bills, unfortunately. I'm so curious. Who's that guy? Uh, that's Brian Jones. Oh! <laughs> no, he's with the, he was with the Rolling Stones. Oh. Yeah, Brian Jones. Died when 27 years old. He was part of the 20. Which do you enjoy more, the the pop portraits or the the landscapes and the scenes, the, the cityscapes? You know, the I I, I just enjoy painting. I, I don't really have a favorite. I don't really, and 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 a lot of times these paintings sit around for a long time before they're finished, and you know, uh, they can be uh, sometimes. I worked on a couple yesterday that I had sitting around for a couple of years. This one here of, uh, this one here of, you know, this is a brand new one, Brian Jones. I didn't even, I don't know if I'm done with that yet. I like it, but this one, this is a new one here. These are hard to see in the light. Here, let's go over here where it's, it's too bright out here. This, um, this is, uh, the Arboretum. And I just worked on it yesterday, and it's more, it looks more finished now than it did for the last mm. two years. So this is downtown Pasadena. This one's still not quite done, but this, is, this has already been worked on for a few weeks. So um, this one probably longer yet. But, uh, yeah, it's just uh, sometimes it's hard to figure out. Uh, I, like the, uh, I like the use of texture. The technique of the... Yeah, it's, a, it's just, it's not something I try to do, it's just the way I do it. Here's one of Janus. Everybody wants to buy this one. This one took a long time. And, uh, I'm just going to show you that one in downtown here. That's kind of a cool one. This is kind of a cool one. This one I worked on when the construction of this building was going on. And, uh, it's so bright out here, Hey, you need a bigger umbrella, man. Hey. There. And, uh, oh, that's a new one, too, that sunset. That's a, that's a brand new one, that one. That one of, uh, Very nice. A lot of these are new. They're, they're all, but they don't. They don't look good when the sun's getting them that hard like that because it's just, they look better in the shade because. But these two I was working on yesterday. This one I really like. Now you can see it. Yeah, I like your colors. Yeah, I really like this one. I really like that one. I can kind of tell when they're kind of closer to done, you know. They just give me a, I just kind of feel, uh ah. Yeah, my dad. My dad says the painting tells you when it's finished. <laughs> they kind of do. Yeah. That one over there in the end, I did on Main Street down here, the one in the very end, and I really like it. 
there's just something's telling me to go back there and work on it some more. <laughs> I think. Very cool, man. But I almost sold it once already. If I, I would rather just sell it, but this one took a lot longer than that one. I think you can tell the difference. So. Yeah. God, I've had, you know, like in the last two months, I've had like at least five to ten people shoot shit at me. And some of them send me that, but like 89% of them still haven't sent me anything, you know. Mm. And it's just like, Jesus Christ, why do I got to go through all this shit, you know. At least send me something. I suppose they forget, you know, they, whatever. I need I need more people like you helping me because uh, can't do it alone, that's for sure. What, what, what's the art therapy about? Oh, I mean, that's just, that. I put that up during COVID because I, I thought I could maybe get some, help some people. Uh, uh, it's just something I do on the side, give art lessons and help people that maybe think they can't draw or paint or... Maybe they want to change, develop their art a little bit more and at the same time help their mental state of mind. And That's great. Because, you know, well, I mean, I was doing food deliveries when the pandemic hit. I was, uh, I mean, I was painting also, but I was doing it part-time food deliveries. And Jesus Christ, when it started, I thought I, I couldn't get a mask to wear. Hmm. I thought I was going to de die delivering food to people. Wow. I was in Pasadena, I was just like, then I finally got a mask after like two or three months. This gal I know that works at this uh, Unity Center, she said, oh, you can get a mask, you know. But it was really bizarre. It was a kind of a surreal world. Yeah, well, cops get a bad name, you know. There's a, I've had problems with cops over the years. I've, I've seen a lot of bad ones. I, I used to sell roses in uh, Minneapolis back in the 90s, and I've seen a lot of, you know, I've seen a lot of uh, sketchy shit going on with people in the street and stuff. <laughs> I've been in the streets a long time. So I, you know, I came out here, uh, but I mean, L.A. is, is you know, Minneapolis uh, has... Uh, LA has kind of a gang problem, but they have they have a gang problem in uh, Minneapolis too. It's more it comes from Chicago. It's more, mm. but it's serious. It's a whole different landscape there because it's those towns in the Midwest are more centralized, like Atlanta. But yeah, I painted in Chicago. I love Chicago. I like the Midwest, so I'm. Uh, but yeah, LA is not like that. What brings you to Pasadena? I went back to school there and got my degree, my, uh, my, uh, uh, well, I got my associate's degree at PCC so that I could, uh, transfer the credits and get my, uh, Bachelor of Fine Art degree. <laughs> so I got two degrees. I went back to school for a few months and I got like 30, I don't know, maybe 20, 30, about almost 30 credits at PCC. And that was enough to create an associate's degree. Right. So I didn't need any art credits. I just needed general ed. So that's why I went. <laughs> nice. So I went back and they gave me, and it was really cool. They, there was a guy there named Armando, and uh, and he uh, he kind of directed me in the right direction. But it was really ironic about the whole thing is I, I just been out in the desert and driven all the way back because my van wasn't running very really good. It was a different van. And... Uh, so I thought, well, I better go home. I was already all the way to Phoenix. Oh, wow. And my, I was leaking water, and I thought, oh, I didn't know what was wrong. So I came back to L.A., and I went to PCC, and I went to this. They weren't open. It was November, or right between break. And I said, who's running this art department, you know? Turned out it was a guy that I used to teach in Minnesota. He was the, he was the dean there. Oh. And he used to actually teach. He was hired by my painting instructor. Who was the, who was the head of the, he was the department chair. By the time I left, he, was, he, he went up, you know, he became the department chair and hired this guy. And uh, that's the story. So <laughs> I was like, you taught where? I called him up on the phone and uh, yeah, I was crazy. And then he got me enrolled and got me back, got me, and then I got, you know, went to saw my counselor, I got my associate's degree. And, it was a lot of work, though. Yeah.
I had to take all the new math and all that bullshit. <laughs> all the common core math. Yeah. The new, yeah, the new math. Whatever it is, there, there's the, the the one they have there that's general. That is really hard. Man. Yeah. A lot of people quit. A lot of people because it's a uh, it's so multi uh, different uh, different kinds of math. A lot of different kinds, like eight different kinds of math. You have to learn in like one quarter. But I got through it, and it, good. And, and that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Anybody that wants to manage an artist, let me know. I, uh, I, 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 some of my, I mean, I've sold shit. I used to be in a gallery in Minnesota, and they were not very nice to me, but they, they sold some of my stuff, you know, my landscapes. Mm hmm. They were getting a lot of money for them. How do the, how do the, the pop portraits do, usually? Oh, uh, I mean, you got, you got Jim Morrison framed. Yeah, well, that's an old one, and that's signed by Robbie Krieger. Wow. And Robbie Krieger signed it. And he wrote the song Light My Fire. That's so cool, he, he was the, he's their guitar player. Wow. And he does Doors songs with his son. They they play around LA. I don't know the name of their band, but they had a huge signing down here a few years ago before the COVID hit. At the uh, just down the street here on Olive or one of those streets, the flower. It's the front of the original Morrison Hotel. And they redid the window, and they had a big party there. And they took pictures for a day straight. They had people lined up around the block Whoa. to get their picture in front of that window. Uh, and it was uh, the cover of the old, it, it says, Morrison Hotel, the record. Mm -hmm. And they're all looking out. <laughs> you ever see that? They redid that exactly the to, so they could wow. photograph people. That's and then cool. he came later and played. And bunch of, uh, Dennis Quaid showed up. And. Very cool. It was really fun, man. I appreciate you letting me uh, shoot and, and stop by and, and learn, 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 learn something about about your work and. Oh and fuck! All if you listen stories. to me blab long enough, you might <laughs> you might learn you might. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the great stories. And about 15 years ago, I I, I I I knew that I needed to get back into doing my art more, more, because I was just kind of drifting, you know, just kind of. Just kind of doing my. I was selling flowers until 2004, maybe. At, at shows, rock shows in the summertime, and uh, then I kind of. So I started doing uh, art professionally, uh, full time in 2001 or two. I think is when I got back into it. It was right after 9/11. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, I wish I, I could do some more, you know, this stuff is kind of tame, but compared to what I'd like to do, you know, but <laughs> you have to sell it and you have right. to, you know, I mean, I'd like to do some big, crazy oil paintings. I mean, I'm sure I could sell those too, but you have to have a space to do it in. You have to have time to dry. They, you know, it's a lot harder to, this is acrylic here. You can move this around. Yeah. Oil paintings, you can't move around. Where's LeBron, man? <laughs> I sold one of LeBron last week. Hey, I got one of Kobe here. I, I, I should have my Kobe painting out. I don't have it out. I'm an idiot. I sold one of LeBron here last week. If I had 100 of him, I think I'd sell them all. I got a really cool painting of Led Zeppelin up here. I don't have Kobe in here. I must have left it at home. That sucks. <laughs> I wanted to show you the Kobe, Kobe painting. I'm still pissed I can't find Kobe here. I didn't bring it. Wow. How can I do that?